All right, Zach, thank you. Well, the Workforce Investment Act is designed to help you, so why not take advantage? Tiffany Daniels from Workforce Solutions is here to explain how, and this is different from Workforce Solutions, which are two locations here right. in the Three. Austin area. Three, Three Sorry, locations, yeah. It's different, um, but it's also administered by Workforce Solutions. So the Workforce Investment Act mm -hmm. is a program that is a federally designated program that is handed down to one-stop centers. So in the state of Texas, there's 28 uh, workforce development areas. Capital area, the Austin Travis County area is one of them. We have three centers. So it kind of trickles down from this act down to services and funding that we have available locally. Yeah, so this is important because we're talking about dollar signs. We're talking from about the dollar federal signs. government, yes. not just the state government. Right, right. Okay, and so that said, mm -hmm. you have to qualify if you're going to get the specific training that the right. federal government is paying for. Right. Okay, so tell to, us what those qualifications are. In order to access the Workforce Investment Act funding, uh, you have to be able to work in the U.S., so I'm um, cleared to do so. 18 years or older, you have to be receiving unemployment benefits or a different kind of public assistance, uh, and you, basically there needs to be a need for advanced training or to help you become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Why is this needed here locally in the capital area? Well, there's a number of programs to help individuals of, of kind of all areas and, and different needs, but this is really a program to help those that are on some type of public assistance get off of it. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of conversation as to whether people abuse the system, and that's really not the point of this. This is really to say there are individuals in the U.S., in the state of Texas, in the Austin area that are in need. So rather than just giving funding to allow them to pay their bills, how can we actually help them become self-sufficient? Yeah, absolutely. And that kind of makes the community go round. Yes. But I will want to add, though, in order to use the Workforce Solutions you know, resources, mm -hmm. you don't have to be on some sort of aid or unemployment benefits or That's whatnot. This is correct. really open to anybody. Yes. Workforce Solutions itself, when you come into our centers, this is really open to anyone that can physically walk through the door. Yeah. Uh, as, but there are different types of funding and different streams. Yeah. So for each bucket of money, there are set parameters. And for Workforce Investment Act, there's those particular that we laid out. Yeah, and just to take it to a, a deeper level here, do you think that uh, the Workforce Investment Act is up to date? When it comes to, you know, over the last few years, we've seen a dip in the economy and mm -hmm. then a, and a recovery. And I would imagine uh, there's no cookie cutter community across right. the country. Right. Some areas of the country have been hit harder yes. than others or different yeah. needs. Different needs, different industries were hit harder in different areas. Yeah. The Workforce Investment Act was enacted in 1998. So it is very useful now, but there have been changes over the last 15 years. And it might be time to kind of look at some reevaluations for for the nation yeah. as well as just us locally. Okay, it will be interesting uh, to see what happens there. Yeah. But Workforce Solutions, three locations, Tiffany said, here in the capital area. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take advantage of those resources and it's free. Yes, check okay. us out on our website and find us. We're happy to help. Thanks, Tiffany. Thank Good you. to see you. You too. We'll be